Hello, this is David Newman, and you're watching the Orchestral Tools Instrumentation Series. So the cello. The cello is a very interesting string instrument. It has two parts to it. It has its low baritone quality, and it has a very high tenor quality. Um, certain cellos, the instruments themselves sound more tenory, and certain of them sound more baritone because um, all these string instruments are so dependent on the instruments themselves and the bows that they use. So there's a wonderful passage, I think, that shows off the way high tenor quality of the cello, and that's in the last cue of uh, E.T., the John Williams score for E.T., it's about halfway through the, the, the cue, and the celli just climb up and then do this oct almost octave leap to be this super expressive kind of sound. But also, celli play low and can be part of the bottom end of the orchestra and can be very aggressive with 16th notes and all kinds of other things. Uh, again, they have mutes, they have colenio, they have pizzicato, all kinds of other things that you can do with them. So let's, let's check out the cello. The cello consists of the body made of spruce and maple with the characteristic F-shaped sound holes. The neck and head are made of maple. The fingerboard protrudes over the body and is made of ebony. The strings can be made of gut, steel, or nylon wound with silver, aluminum, or copper. The strings of the cello are tuned to C2, G2, D3, A3, which is exactly one octave lower than the viola. Although the cello is larger than the violin, the bow of the cello is slightly shorter, but even heavier. It also uses horsehair attached to the end of the bow. Producing a tone on the cello is similar to the other instruments in the string section. The strings are played with the bow or picked with the fingers. The vibrating string will be amplified by the body. Just as with the violin and viola, we can say there is hardly an orchestra between the Baroque and late Romantic periods in which there are no cellos used. The cellos represent the tenor and upper bass portion of the orchestra, and like the violin and viola, they are universally usable for accompaniment and for melodies. As an accompanying instrument with short or long notes, the cellos usually play the bass line or bass notes. Since the Romantic period, it is also common that one half of the cellos play the accompaniment, while the other half, or solo cello, takes over the melody. From the Baroque to the Classical period, the cello lines were generally written together with the double bass in one system, generally doubled an octave lower by the double basses. Since the time of Beethoven, the cellos more frequently played melodies. For example, the main theme of the Third Symphony of Beethoven, the Eroica, or the second movement of the Fifth Symphony. Later in the Romantic period, the cello part has been notated in a separate system ever since the cello became more and more a melody instrument in the orchestra because of its immense tonal range. The full but soft and rather dark sound of the cello led to the preferred use of music that expresses romantic longing and rapture. The cello is gladly used together with the horns in sonorous, noble, or heroic melodies. The range of the cello is from C2 to A5, or C1 to A4, after the MIDI definition used in our sample instruments. From the range of C2 to about G4, the cello sounds more dark and rich. In the higher range, its sound becomes thinner and less warm, just like the violin. The cello can play from pianissimo to fortissimo in all ranges. Only in the range from C5 and higher, it plays only up to about più forte. This range sounds extremely moaning and tight, and it's often used for effect.
Now let's look at the main playing techniques of the cello. Basically, we differentiate between left hand and right hand techniques. When the left hand is moved while holding a note, slight variations in pitch and volume are produced. This is what we call vibrato. Multiple stages of intensity exist. Non-vibrato produces a flat and expressionless tone. Poco vibrato is the most used one in 2D passages. Vibrato espressivo is mainly reserved for solos or melodic lines, and the molto vibrato creates an exaggerated effect. By changing the bow direction on every single note without leaving the strings, the notes can be separated without sounding short, which is what we call détaché. A series of short strokes is what's called staccato. Spiccato is similar to détaché, but for short notes. The bow changes directions on every note. This technique makes the bow jump due to its elasticity. This technique is produced by bouncing the bow multiple times on the string. Usually it is used in chords or accompaniment figures and is only performed in piano or mezzo piano. Ricochet is played by letting the bow jump off the string. The player throws the bow on the string and the bow jumps several times. It works for playing just a single note multiple times in a row or to play a scale. Every note is very short. If the bow is thrown stronger on the string, the ricochet is slower. If it's thrown with less power, it can be very fast. Playing near the bridge of the instrument, a brighter, more glassy, shrill, and thin tone is produced. This is what we call ponticello. It sounds scary and very cold and can be played from pianissimo to fortissimo. Sul tasto is the opposite of the ponticello technique. When playing the string near the fingerboard, a warmer and softer sound is produced. When an open string is played, while well, a finger touches the string lightly on one of its nodes, where partial vibrations are developed, the corresponding overtone appears. This is called natural harmonics. This effect also can be produced artificially by playing a note, touching the string on the right spot simultaneously. It can be played from pianissimo to mezzo forte. If the string is plucked with a single finger instead of using a bow stroke, we call this pizzicato. For the Bartok pizzicato, the string is plucked with two fingers with more force, so the string bounces against the fingerboard. This sound is more percussive than the normal pizzicato. So hope you enjoyed this video about the cello, and please come back for more.